Today, you're joining us in Torcross. As you can see, we are a stone's throw away from the water. And we're currently on Slapton Sands, but the property we're gonna be showing you is just over the lay, just over there. So yeah, we're gonna head there now and check it out. Let's go. So you are joining us on the forecourt outside the property right now. You can see the quite striking contemporary design, all the vertical wood cladding and these slats here, formerly known as the White House. Come on inside. Let's I'm go. gonna take you in. So we've got this kind of rain covered porch here, which is great to have. Loads of parking. Obviously, we've got the carport just there as well. So there's actually parking for oh, it's actually open. Oh, nice. Like parking for a few vehicles as well off street, which is great. Yeah. So as we come inside, we can already see quite a consistent material palette with the plywoods and the whites, these vertical strips. You can see that even in the architraving around the doorways, yeah. those sheets of ply. To my left, we have a WC just here. Just Jazz's left, we have an office with two desks, mm -hmm. which is exactly what we need. Yes. There's also a window there looking out to the front. And then down here, it's the first room we'll take you in. Actually, before I do, floor plan. Good idea. Yes. And Jazz is right. There's actually like a little boot section. We have the utility section. Obviously, we've got the washing machines, but it actually comes all the way through into this gym where you have access out to your carport where there's that electric charger for your vehicle. Yeah. You could do anything with this space yeah, as well, couldn't you? For sure. Yeah, currently used as a gym, but you could have this as a study and the other one as a bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. What would you do? Let us know. So then this is the front door with our shoes. <laughs> just here, more sort of cladding. Yeah. And then you have like a little boot section for your shoes and coats and stuff. Very unique door. Yeah. Great spot for these bullies here. You take the dog for a walk <laughs> just as you come in. But this property is not short of character, right? It's a very interesting one. So as we come into this open plan kitchen, you can already get a little glance at that staircase. And there's a lot of nature being used inside this property. Yeah. The plants everywhere. That's a tree, not a plant, let's be honest. Yeah. But <laughs> all of these kind of draping down over quite a raw material. I really like the interior design yeah. through here. Kind of emphasizes the fact that it is a very eco-friendly home. Sure, exactly. And continue with the gray theme that we saw outside. We've got stone gray tiles all the way through this floor and Neff appliances all the way through this kitchen. So we've got the induction hob just here, actually a five ring induction hob. Nice. And then we've got the oven and microwave oven just here. Now I haven't actually been in these. Oh, this is nosy. That is the yeah, fridge very here. Very stocked fridge. And then the freezer just there, but full height. Yeah, I love, love it. how it's set into that brick wall as well. It looks yeah, incredible. That exposed brick looks so good. And it's like whitewashed. So you really yeah. feel like you're by the beach. Yeah. And this is a lovely kitchen island here. We've got the white worktops that kind of contrast the darker tones mm -hmm. through here. Obviously, we've got the dark, glossy units all the way through the kitchen. I believe the worktops are actually quartz as well. Quartz so. worktops, right, okay, yeah. As we come out this way, we have the breakfast bar sort of area with seats this side. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing about this is there's actually storage oh, underneath yeah. and a bookshelf. Handy. So you can keep all of those cooking books yeah. under there so they're not constantly looking clutter. a bit messy. Yeah, too much clutter. I love the mackerels just by you, Jazz. It's a great piece of artwork. Oh, yeah. And then oh, we have wow. the dining space just here. Some quite intimate lighting underneath, which is always needed in these yeah. spaces. And there's um, a great use of double height ceilings and skylights through here, which makes it feel so spacious, even mm -hmm. though it is a three, four bedroom home. Yeah, you know? just over 2,000 square feet yeah, as well. Wonderful. Now this tree yeah, it's so is very cool. impressive. We did a bit of research earlier. It originates from African and South African countries, I think in India as well. And South America. And South America. I think it was actually South America. Yeah. I'm not a plant expert, but I really liked how this one looked in here. <laughs> and I love the way it spreads out yes. just to reach all the light there. Imagine when that grows and it fills the whole yeah. like space. That'd be incredible. Yeah, awesome. Then we have these sliding doors here that allow us to have access out to the seating area, which is actually yeah. under a cover. We've got more outside space, so we'll show you that further in more detail. It's one hell of a vase, this. You could probably get in that. I think I could get in that. And if insurance wasn't an issue, I think I'd try. Okay, fair but enough. But I don't want to break it. No. <laughs> so let's move on. More vertical garden in here. Oh, look at that sun. Yeah, so the sun's coming through now. Now this door here, these doors, I should say, plural, and they slide open. And I love it when properties do this, when they have that kind of overhanging corner. Mm -hmm. 
and it's just super open. Yeah. It really makes it feel like we're actually outside now. Yeah. And this is like a gazebo type area. Perfect indoor outdoor living. Yeah. Perfect for some alpha. We had a bit of um we had a bit of rain. Yeah. Earlier, a little splash. But yeah, it's so beautiful when it that the sun does come out. For sure. Could certainly sit out there and have some some dinner in the sun in the evening. I think a all barbecue. the evening sun yeah. comes through into the garden. You get all the morning sun out yeah. on the balconies. Well, it's a south and west facing garden. Now, this is a great little reception room, seating area, lounge, living room, you'd call it. <laughs> nice couch here. Yeah. And then we've got the skylight up above. Yeah. yeah. Two seats either side of Jazz. And we've obviously got a bit of a aviator fan. <laughs> yeah. Enthusiast. Not, yeah. I love the like kind of cabinetry all the way through. Yeah. You can tell it's bespoke. It just looks so like it's the perfectly of, DIY though, yeah, do you know what I mean? it's the sheets of ply for me because you see the cladding on the outside of the house, whether it's at the back, yeah. at the rear or at the front, you know, it really continues that theme with the vertical strips. Yeah. All the little details. Then more exposed brick here. And even it's... this with the plants draping down, all the colors work really nicely. Ooh. Great lighting. I think it's Amos lighting throughout here. Yeah. And one thing I haven't shown you yet, Jazz, come this way. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Oh, he's running away. Not only do we have this massive sky well here, which you'll see from the principal suite mm -hmm. that allows light to come all the way down here into this hallway. This is actually the brain of the house. So everything's oh. controlled by your phone, whether it's the heating, the Sonos, the sky, yeah. everything. Control on your smartphone. Smart home system, smart home, smart yes phone. please. Big brain in there. Yeah. Let's head upstairs. And Jazz, you can show us the bedrooms. Let's go. So coming up the plywood stairs, I met with my good friend, the resident Kitty. Bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> We have these incredible windows here bringing light throughout and I like the railing, the banister going all the way up in that very striking contemporary colour as well. But here we are on the landing, kind of galleried above that dining space we saw with some beautiful lights hanging down. You've got the vaulted ceiling up here with that incredible skylight, the angle that it's at is incredible. And so yeah, you've got loads of light floating out here as well because you've got doors out to a balcony, which I'll show you in a second. But here we have this beautiful kind of relaxation space, I'd call it. Yeah. So I'm going to sit down. It's just such a nice... Perfect spot for a morning coffee. Yeah. You can read a book there, you've got the view over the exactly. lay. Exactly. There's even a little telescope as well that you can look throughout to see. But yeah, some of that bespoke cabinetry again in that same plywood. So we have this huge outdoor patio balcony with the glass balustrades. Once again, like Tom said, Downstairs, you've got that cover above. So when it's raining, you can still come out here and enjoy. You've got the same kind of slate stone tiles on the floor. Incredible views. You've got hills, the sea. It's just very expansive. Pretty nice. But you can actually head in to the principal suite throughout here. So if I can open it, we'll come in this way. And here we are. So in the principal suite, we have it separating into kind of two sections. You've got this main bedroom and either side of this incredible headboard. Look at that. The wood slats again, but horizontal. We've got two different ways we can go. Now, next to Tom, there is a dressing room. Plenty of storage. Each room has so much storage for clothes, you name it. And then where we just were, you can see that sky well Tom talked about when we were in the hallway downstairs. But through here, we have our ensuite. Very spacious. You've got plenty of storage. Again, twin basins that mirror running the whole length and the walk-in shower here. We've also got the kind of recess above. So it creates that nice glow on these really soft tiles. They're yeah, very... they do feel very soft, don't yeah, they? Yeah, feels... mm. I feel like I'm in a marshmallow. That's <laughs> how I describe it. Back in the hallway now, we're going to head into the room opposite. You'll notice we have a lot, a lot of pocket doors throughout here as well, saving space. Huge vertical window here and another one. So beautiful aspect out to the sea. You've got the bed in the middle, similar theme to the principal suite with that nice kind of wooden headboard. And again, you've got two different sides. So around each side, you've got kind of wardrobe space. I like how the skirting matches the 
Arc kind of driving. Arc driving, yeah. Mm. Very nice. Should we check out the family bathroom? Yeah, let's do it. Another great size. You've got those soft tiles once again. I like the incorporation of plants into a bathroom. Very nice. Beautiful mirror. And yeah, walk in shower once again. You've even got the speaker system in here, so the Sonos speaker runs all the way up. And you've got storage and a bath. Yeah, lovely. Now let's head into our last bedroom. There you go, you can see that smart lighting system there. Yeah. With all the buttons. Yeah, I love the look of this, the wood. Matching the kitchen kind of almost with the plywood. But yeah, last bedroom and you've got the views out. I can actually see a little Shetland pony on the hill from here, which is lovely. And then you can also look out to your garden as well. Yeah, it's great that you get the, the view of the sea yeah. one side and then the view of the hills the other. Exactly, and I really like these niches in the wall as well for storage. Right. They look really lovely. Should we go head down to the garden? Yeah, let's meet you out there. Entering the garden then, we have this patio space, poured concrete flooring, you've got a lovely seating area. You can see the vertical slats that we saw indoors as well, creating that separation to where the carport is. You've got a barbecue, a fire pit, even an outdoor fridge out here as well and speakers, so it doesn't get much better than that. You've got side access around there to the front of the property. You can see the slate tiling we have on the outside. Once again, those vertical, vertical panelling as well. But it just looks so striking and we've got all this lawn space. That poured concrete patio carries all the way along the property, so you've got a nice dining area as well. But yeah, this is truly such an impressive seaside property, literally two minutes away from the sea. But yeah. Look at that Pretty angle. good aspect, the hey? angle on the back of that yeah. conservatory. Exactly. But we hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. It means a lot. Tom and I, we drove a long way to get here in That's Devon. About four hours, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. like, subscribe, it helps. <laughs> <laughs> so aggressive. Uh, and also go check out this video because I think you'll like it and it's in a similar area. But we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, see, we are by the sea. No, I hated that. Okay. One. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Ah. Ah. Chicken! <laughs> oh my god. For a little sec. For a little sec. What the f is that? For a little